We got trouble on the home front. Big hickory split off. We're gonna try to pull it down with the tractor. We'll see how that goes. That hickory's hard to break. No, ain't gonna do it. We're gonna try to break it off now. We sawed it part of the way in two right there where his chain is. This is that big limb that broke off off of that hickory tree. It is a long piece of it. I'm gonna cut some of it up for firewood. Look at that. I'm gonna cut that up into some sticks. And if I'm doing any grilling or barbecuing, that right there will be some A1 stuff to put on the grill. We're going to sharpen the saw before we go cut on that hickory. I've been having to move these pineapples and fruit trees in and out of the shop. What I do is I lock it down in the vise on just a little bit of an upward angle like this. You want to lock it to where you can still move your chain. I'll show you another trick that I do. I take a permanent marker and mark the tooth I'm starting on. That way I ain't got any trouble when I know I get back around to that tooth. Right here, that little angle. Whenever you file it, you try to stay straight in line with that angle when you're filing. Or at least this is how I do it now. Everybody's got their own way, but I try to keep my file lined right up with that angle as I'm filing. When I file, I try to count the number of strokes. Nine, ten. It looks like I cleared that tooth up pretty good. And I tried to stay straight in line with that as I was filing. This here is what they call a skip chain it ain't got as many teeth as a normal chain that we use I like it you don't have as many to sharpen and it seems like it cuts just as good if not better if your saw quits cutting as you get down into the log your bar may be flared out the way that I fix it is I take the bar off and take a flat file and file it back down flat these the edge of this bar will get turned out as it gets old and wore and you can get a little more use out of your bar that way what that does that gets your bar out wider than what your chain's cutting and you saw kick pull down in it i think we'll start right here on this end with this real good hickory that that's busted up Oh. 
steel chainsaw and a mule full of wood. That looks real good. Well, there we go. We got a little load of wood. It was a good evening for it, too. That wind's blowing this cool. I'll probably burn some of this in the morning. If I do, it'll be the first fire of the season. How many of you can tell me what this rig is here in the background, this orange or red rig? Put it, put it down in the comments below if you know what it is or what it's for. I thank y'all for watching. And don't forget to share the video. If you have a Facebook, share it over on Facebook or message it to some of your friends. The more it's shared like that, the more YouTube will push it out for more people to see. I think we're up to like 85 subscribers right now. And I never thought I'd get that many subscribers on here. It's all because of y'all giving the thumbs up and liking. I thank y'all for that. I had a comment here a few days ago wanting to know about the wood miser sawmill if I would if I had it to do over would I buy the same one again well I yeah we would we had a smaller wood miser LT40 I think is what it was back in the 1990s and kept it for probably 15 years or something like that and sold it and when we bought another one we bought this bigger one but Wood Miser, I'm not affiliated with them or anything. They don't pay me or nothing. It's just my opinion. But Wood Miser has been real good to us, even with that old mill back then, which we bought it new. But if you ever had any problems, you just call them, and they'll have a technician walk you through whatever's wrong with it. And the biggest part of the time, we could fix it that way. There was one issue that we had to call another man to come and look at. A little uh, relay wire was loose. There wasn't anything really wrong with it. There's a little wire loose, but they have A1 technicians. It was my fault. I just wasn't sure enough of myself to go into that panel box there. I was afraid I would tear something up. If I would have went ahead and went into it, Woodmiser would have walked me through how to fix it, but everything that's ever happened, they've been right there, and they have real good technical support. So, in my opinion, you can't go wrong with a Woodmiser. This is Burnt Church. I thank you for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.